Hey listeners, this is Mindful Talks podcast. Welcome to the second episode of hashtag Game Dev Club. The game you know, the process behind making it that you probably don't know. Game development sometimes might be very painful, sometimes challenging. The game developers leave no stone in pouring the efforts for the sake of the user's adventurous experience. Many components contribute to the creation of a game such as story, characters, audio, art, lighting and what not, which is eventually mixed to form a completely new universe in a video game. It needs developing a concept, designing it, building it, testing it and releasing it. It is critical to consider game mechanics, rewards, player involvement and level design when developing the game. So, without any further ado, let's call Ankit Dabey, who is a game development team lead at 300 Mind. A very warm welcome to you, sir. Thank you, Akash, once again for inviting me. Yeah, so uh, I must say that uh, video game development is always uh, challenging and too technical. Uh, there are endless things we do from structure to frameworks. Also, at the same time, uh, game development and application to build a mobile application, it is a very different thing. Uh, here, we need uh, so much creativity from to design levels, design characters, and uh, make the whole game from planning to production, uh, there are so many uh, stages uh, to create any game. Amazing, sir. So game development is your kind of home that gives you comfort, peace and thrill, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, can you please uh, guide us about the stages of development? Yeah, so uh, there are so many stages. Uh, first is always planning. So we do planning here, we do brainstorm so much that okay, uh, we pick this, this genre and now we have to make the game. So first we always make an MVP, uh, which is minimum viable product. So in that, uh, we just make the core gameplay. And then we test this gameplay with number of users. So they can give us the feedback, okay, this game is working or not. Uh, if uh, all the users give us the positive feedback, then we move to the aesthetics. And then the real game development uh, starts. Cool, sir. So all the listeners are super excited to know the real ground level thing. So yeah, you can just begin. So as I said, uh, planning is the key element here. Uh, so. What we do is like now if the game is endless or if the game is uh, in levels so we first start from storyboarding and we sketch the whole levels after we sketch the whole levels uh, we implement the design in any of the software and at the same time we started to make the games in the game engines so here we uh, follow agile methodology and uh, so that uh, we can give the output uh, in stages and we can set up the milestones okay in this milestone we can cover this much thing in this milestone we can cover this much things uh, so yeah planning is always the key element so uh, if the planning is perfect every team member knows okay uh, what to do and how much time we have or how much uh, effort we need to make these uh, things uh, pretty cool so in agile methodology uh, one needs to be very clear with the vision uh, or the team that that you are working like uh, if the vision is not clear uh, things will messed up and as we said the same about uh, the vision in the previous episode as well uh, so to all the listeners out there if you have not checked that episode as well uh, just check that out and then come back to this episode or just listen to this episode and go back to that episode so yes sir can you please tell us about the next step uh, the next step is uh, about development now the sketches are ready now everything is clear uh, everyone has their task 
so uh, the designers work on the aesthetics and developers work on the core mechanics or the core gameplay so everything works simultaneously and uh, yeah uh, after so many lines of course and after so many uh, here and there the designs uh, the game is now ready for testing so yeah uh, the third stage is all about testing uh, we do manual testing as well as automation testing uh, because testing is always a crucial part uh, after developing uh, whole things we need to test every aspect of the game and uh, tester will test the technicality as well as the fun element because it is always necessary in games jaise apne hindi mein kehte hai ki maza aana chahiye because it is not a maths or physics class it is a game so it should be fun right wow just just a nice metaphor from ankit sir thank you so much for this metaphor for all the listeners as well them them they must be chilled with this so yeah very very nice so we are moving towards the fourth stage yeah so uh, one thing i can add here is uh, monetization so uh, there are so many users who don't know how the game will earn so like there are so many things uh, we can add ads we can add in app purchases and we can add game passes so f- from this uh we or as a game development company earn the money there is a myth that if the game is installed or download like 5 million uh for on every install uh the game will earn but there is nothing uh the game companies earn by ads in app purchase or game passes or if they make the game uh not free and charges while installing they can earn the money so yeah and as we discuss about the stages the fourth stage is all about launching the game so uh, we as we plan we have targeted the platforms if the game is in mobile we target android or ios or if the game is all about console we target xbox or playstation so yeah that's it absolutely sir so yeah to all the people if you want to know the detailed process of especially mobile game development in depth then i'll put the link in the description or you can just browse www.mindinventory.com so thanks a lot angit sir for your uh, time uh, any last advice or any last words of wisdom that you like to add here so yeah uh, i think being a product manager i can say that if you follow these steps uh, there are so many chances that your game will become a success and if your vision is clear then every team member has their vision clear and the game will come out beautifully great so so yes to all the listeners out there uh, that's it for today in this podcast of mindful talks see you in the next episode till then keep on learning and keep on advancing thank you